All right, welcome back. Well, it's been a while since I've taken a look at a multimedia app, a music app for Linux. Nothing really out there grabbed my attention except something new from the folks at Tomahawk. Now, for this demonstration here, I will be using the music from Charlie Henson. You can catch Charlie Henson's tunes on SoundCloud. All right, Tomahawk. So. Here we have, you can download for various operating systems, including Windows and other systems. Let's see, a new kind of music player that invites all your streams, downloads, cloud music storage, and so on. Stop chasing music around the web. I know, that's so tiring, isn't it? Uh, to services you don't use, sources you don't have access to, add your favorite music subscriptions. I love the use of white space here on their um, website and you'll see it here shortly in the music player. I love these shortcuts, these uh, tiles. There I say it's very Windows-ish. Hmm. Anyway, scrolling down, get social, connect to your friends. You have some other features here. All right, pick your favorite flavor. Tomahawk for Windows, Mac, Linux, Mint, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, Fedora, Argento, and so on. I'll have links for all of this below in the show notes. All right, well, let's take a look here and see what we have at Tomahawk. What's new? If you're reading this, it is likely you mean it means that you have already noticed the biggest change. All right, we saw these shortcuts here. Let's see, Beats Music, Google Music, so on and so forth. All right, let's go from left, starting at the top, what's new in 0.8 feed. These are the music uh, tracks I downloaded from SoundCloud, the Q. Inbox, charts. Again, I love the use of white space. Looks like number one is Taylor Swift. Never heard of her. <laughs> New releases. All right, your collect, uh, your music collection. All right, now these here, these are some of the tracks I downloaded. Now, if I wanted to add, for example, there's no track number. You can just pick a track, right click. Let's go to properties. And we can call this whatever number one, okay, and so on and so forth. That way you can have some kind of order. All right, latest editions, of course, what I downloaded, history. Again, what I downloaded, favorites. Create new playlist and create new station. Very easy and very pleasing on the eyes. Going to the top here, we have controls, play, previous track, and so on. Settings, configure Tomahawk. All right, one thing that caught my eye here is this uh, hatchet. Hatchet? Hmm. Connect to hatchet to capture your playback data, sync your playlist. I, it's strange name, hatchet. But these are the various plugins here that you can download. Again, I have SoundCloud already in there. Roof Shark, Jamendo. You may have heard of some of, the, of some of these, Beats Music, so on, so forth. Again, very easy to use. You have a wrench, a settings here also. Play previous track, listen privately, import update collection. And let's see, I have this set. What do I have this set to? Let's go to configure collection and it's my music folder. That's it. That's how this uh, works. Let's play something uh, real quick here. All right, volume here. Repeat. I'm assuming that's repeat. Shuffle, time, and the progress bar, and pause. Yeah, I like this. Definitely check it out. The latest Tomahawk music player, of course, if you have Ubuntu, you have the music player integration here on top of the panel bar. All right, well, that's it for this one. Let me know if you guys download and try some of this, uh, some of this, uh, this application, rather. Let me know how it works for you. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support and uh, keep the music playing. Catch you guys later.